Welcome to Mini Orange. Mini Orange provides single sign-on for Confluence. In this video we will be going through the Confluence SEMLSSO plugins remember my login feature. Let's get started. You can set up Confluence SAML plugin by watching our end-to-end -end setup video. The link is in the description. In Mini Orange SAML single sign-on configuration tab, you can see that we have configured OTA as an IDP. From the left menu, navigate to Remember My Login. Here you can manage how long your ad users can stay logged in after the initial successful SSO. Remember Me Cookie sets a cookie in the browser when the user performs SSO and allows the user's session to remain valid until the user explicitly logs out from the application. Enable it. Let's see how Remember Me Cookie works when user closes the window after being successfully logged into the application. In the Confluence Login page, click on Use Copyright Login button. Login with your IDP credentials. When a user tries to access Confluence again, he will be logged in directly, as Remember Me Cookie is already set. Go back to the plugin. Here you can see that we have configured multiple IDPs, that is Okta and Azure ID. Now, go back to Remember My Login feature. Here we will get a new option, that is Remember My IDP. If this is enabled, the user doesn't need to choose the IDP from the second login onwards. He will be directly redirected to his IDP for authentication. Let's see what happens when Remember My IDP is disabled. Go to Confluence Login page and select Required IDP button. Login with your IDP credentials. You will be redirected to the Confluence instance. When a user tries to access Confluence again, he will be redirected to the Confluence Login page. And he have to select the IDP again. Go back to the plugin. Enable Remember My IDP option. Let's see how Remember My IDP works. Go to Confluence Login page and select Required IDP button. Login with your IDP credentials. When a user tries to access Confluence again, you will be redirected to the Okna login page for SAML authentication. In this case, the Confluence Login page for IDP selection was skipped. As your IDP is remembered, enter your credentials to log in into Confluence instance. Go back to the plugin. Ask for user's consent. Takes the user's consent whether to remember their IDP or not. Enable it. In the Confluence login page, you can see an option is being provided to the user asking whether to remember their IDP. This was all about Remember My Login feature about Confluence SAML plugin. To understand more about Remember My Login feature for your Confluence, raise a ticket with us with the link in the description. Mini Orange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.